Good morning. I'm Jan Mould. I'm an assistant director for competitive events for hosts of Future Health Professionals. It's my pleasure to talk with you this morning. I know many of you are facing a lot of unknowns right now, and I know it can be overwhelming. I've been in the classroom for 26 years and retired last May. Before I retired last May, I was teaching pharmacy technician online. So I know a little bit about the challenges, but I just want to assure you that there are a lot of resources out there, and that's what this presentation is about, using resources that are available to you to make the most of online learning. Project-based learning, according to Cornell University, is using real-life world problems. So students very much quickly buy into the learning system of project-based learning because they see the benefit. The following skills Nielsen identified as being developed by project-based learning, and as you look over those, I think you'll find that many of those meet the standards that you've been challenged with teaching this year. There are some really good web, uh, websites available on project-based learning. One is PBL Clearinghouse, and that particular website, when you go to it, you'll find just a listing of all the different website, uh, different projects that have been developed. So if you go over, you'll see there's quite a few in the biological sciences a misdiagnosis and you can read here and it pretty much tells you what topic it's going to be covering so those are available for you again that is if you just search for project-based learning you'll come up with that I really like this one project based learning works it gives you if you're not familiar it's free, you can access it by just entering, but it gives you a lot of information about project designs, elements, checklists, that kind of thing. So it really is a great website to get your feet wet with project-based learning if you haven't used it before. I wanted to share just one project sample that I came across on that public project-based learning works, and that's the Healthy School Challenge. And it gives you a project summary one of out of two American children suffer from chronic health problems. So this connects nutrition, diet, fitness, and exercises and healthy choices. It also gives you things that you can download. How can schools best support our overall health and wellness? Again, it links with the common core standards and other standards. So it's some ready-made resources that you can use. Why it works online, I think, is more important to some of you than uh, ever before. It focuses on key knowledge and understanding. It gives the students opportunity to develop those critical skills, problem solving. They can collaborate. An open-ended, challenging question or problem that requires sustained inquiry. They come up with a product that is authentic, and then they can reflect on the process. So all of that works really well in an online setting. HOSA has a lot to offer along the lines of project-based learning. One example is biomedical debate. Biomedical debate, this year's topic is designer babies. Parents should be allowed to genetically engineer their offspring. You can assign them to pro and con, and then you can use the guidelines and rubrics as they develop. One of the things I really like to use in my classroom when I was introducing a topic that the students may not be familiar with is Khan Academy. And they have just a three minute real brief explanation on what genetic engineering is. Meet Mr. Finn. Feeding him a glow stick would not make him glow in the dark. Genetic engineering, however, can do that. 
it goes on genetic to explain a me- lot of the basics for genetic engineering. Then you could use a discussion board and get your students' thoughts on it before they've done any research. But just watching that and then taking it from the animal to the human, would they support that? Why or why not? Then you divide them into groups and you can assign them pro or con. They research and come up with a two-minute speech, either for or against, depending on which side they have. The really nice thing is they're building rubrics in the guidelines. So you can go there and immediately have the options available to you to use the rubric. Again, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. If it's out there, use it. This year's public health topic is reducing health disparities, social determinants of health can help. Again, the class is divided into teams. You've got your rubrics and guidelines to help with that. And one of the first things that um, you might want to have them do is go to healthypeople.gov. All kinds of information there. Uh, And this particular one, disparities, is there for them to explore what they are. Um, there are widgets. What is it? What data does the health disparity widget display? So again, you can go through and look at different health indicators and find out more on the topic. Public health has been around as a host event for a while. One of the things you can do with your students if you're assigning public health, you may want them to see a sample of things that have been done in the past. Again, We have topics that are chosen every year, so there is a list at uh, CE Useful Tools. You'll find all kinds of good information. That's at www.hosa.org. Go to Competitive Events and then Useful Tools in the drop-down bar. This is a particular public health competitive event sample that was done two years ago when dating violence was the topic. Who's that? Oh, it's Jessica. She wants to go to the mall this Saturday. Is she gonna be mad that you can't go? What do you mean? I was planning on going. But I want to hang out with you this Saturday. I know, but I haven't hung out with Jessica in forever. That sucks. You can hang out with her sometime else. You have to hang out with me this Saturday. Why? Because I said so. Cafeteria. Why are you texting Luke? We're science partners. Many people think that teen dating violence is only physical abuse, but it also includes verbal manipulation. Well, maybe next time you should ask the teacher to do the project alone. You cannot be texting other guys. We're science partners. What are you talking about? I'm your boyfriend. He isn't. I'm the only guy you can talk to. That's ridiculous. Ow! What was that? Nothing. I'm sorry. I won't do it again, but you're being just like my father. The risk of teen dating violence increases dramatically when abuse of a mother figure is witnessed during childhood. We'll talk about this later. Again, and I students can watch and can see what's been done in the past. It's always amazing to me the quality that these students come up with. The guidelines, you can twerk those to where they meet your needs. There's one that is just for a trailer so that you get the idea of what the students were going to do or there's for the full presentation. So both are available to you on the website under guidelines under competitive events. Another is public service announcement. Public service announcement, again, different topics each year for HOSA or you can come up with your own. This year's topic is the future of healthcare how HOSA is making a difference. But here's an example from a couple of years ago. Again, they're producing a 30-second PSA. Thirty-two hundred children under the age of 18 will smoke their first cigarette, with many becoming regular daily smokers. Today, we have an opportunity to end this persistent epidemic.
again, really quality products that are produced by students. Again, this is teamwork. These are teamwork events. You use the guiding, guidelines and the rubrics to help your students know what's expected. Research persuasive writing and speaking. Um, its topic this year is technology use. Does it make us more or less connected? And we're all finding out that we are using a lot of technology this day. Again, you have them come up with a product at the end. It can be a written paper. It can be a pamphlet. Whatever you decide you want to use works. Because you're going to get a project, I would encourage you to share it with administrators, community stakeholders, school board members, etc. that really will see that your students are integrating their learning and going, we want to encourage you to unlock the potential of you and your students. This is not all inclusive. Obviously, there are other events that could be turned into a project-based learning, learning assignment, such as community awareness, health education. We just wanted you to we just wanted to provide you with some samples so that it might help you get started in thinking outside of the box a little bit and using the tools that are already available. I appreciate your attention and hope this helps you start off great for the year.